Hello learners, I welcome you to this session. In this session, we will discuss the last part of Unit 5 of Financial Accounting of BCom first semester. In the earlier videos, in the first video, we have discussed about journal. In the second video, we have discussed subsidiary books. In the third video, we have discussed about ledger and ledger posting. And in this last video of this particular unit, we will discuss ledger balancing. We have posted the transactions from journal to ledger and now how to balance the ledger or how to close a particular ledger account. The topics that we will cover in this particular session are the meaning of ledger balancing, then the procedure of balancing an account. It is also known as ledger balancing. Then the important points in ledger balancing and the nature of ledger and ledger balances. So let us move forward and first of all we will see the concept of ledger balancing. Ledger balancing means ascertaining the net difference between debit and credit of an account. As we have posted the transactions from journal to ledger and in the ledger we have recorded both the debit and credit aspect of the transaction. Now our purpose is to close the account or just to balance the account. Now in balancing an account very simply we just detract the ledger amount from the heavier amount in the ledger. Let us move with the procedure of ledger balancing with an example. Our example uh, is we have two transactions. Number one, purchase goods for rupees 5000 on credit from XY enterprise and the second transaction is goods returned to XY enterprise worth rupees 2000. So first we purchase some goods from XY enterprise but because of some issues or the, the goods are not according to the order that we have given, we have returned some goods. So that is the whole situation. These transactions first have to be recorded in the journal. So in the journal book, we will record it as for the first transaction, purchase account debit to XY enterprise. Means purchase account is debited and XY enterprise account has been credited with 5000. And in the second transaction, as we return the goods, a new account will come into scene. The transaction will be XY enterprise account will be debited and the new account is two returns outward account. Returns outward account means the goods that we have returned to the party from whom we have purchased the goods on credit. So re returns outward account will be credited. Now if we see the ledger posting and we will examine how transactions are posted to XY enterprise. So it is the ledger account of XY enterprise. On the debit side, we have written it as two returns outward account and on the credit side, we have written as buy purchase account. It is as per the rules of ledger posting. Now, it is the time to balance the ledger. If we see then which side is heavier, it clearly gives us the indication that credit side is heavier. In the credit side, the amount is 5000, means we purchase the goods for rupees 5000 on credit and we return goods worth rupees 2000 to XY enterprise. So the credit side, the amount column is heavier and from that amount, we will detect the ledger amount, means the amount written on the amount column of the debit side of XY enterprise ledger. So the balancing figure, the resultant figure will be 3000 and it will be recorded on the ledger side, means on the debit side. So 3000 is written against balance CD. It is the closing balance. It is written as two balance CD. CD means carried down. Now, the same thing is again written on the credit side as buy balance BD. 
BD means brought down. It is also known as opening balance. The amount will be same, 3000. If you observe, the closing balance is on 31st December. So, this is the date you, we usually follow uh, for balancing the account. It may be any dates according to your needs of the business. But on the next day, the immediate next day will be the opening balance. Means on the 1st of January, our opening balance is rupees 3000. That is on the credit side. So, this is the procedure of balancing an account. Now, there are certain important points in ledger balancing. Let us have a look. If the total of both the debit and credit side of an account is equal, the account will have no balance or it is a zero balance account. Means there is nothing to uh, detract from any heavier amount to the ledger amount. So, there is no balance. Now, secondly, if the total of the debit side is more than the credit side of the account, the account will have a debit balance. Again, if the total of the credit side is more than the total of the debit side, then the account will have a credit balance. The, we have the credit balance in our example, means the balance BD, the opening balance is on the credit side. That is why it is known as the account with credit balance. Similarly, if the balance BD, means the opening balance is on the debit side, then it will be known as the account with debit balance. Now, according to the nature, there are certain uh, ledger balances that we can easily detect. For example, assets account will always have debit balance. For example, suppose we have purchased machinery for our business. So, that machinery ledger will always show its balance as debit balance because it is an asset. Then in case of a liability account, it will show credit balance, for example, bank loan. So that is a liability and it will show credit balance. Then for revenue account, it generally shows credit balance, for example, sales ledger or sales account. Sales will always show credit balance. Then expense account will always show debit balance, for example, purchase account. Purchase account will generally show debit balance. So, these are according to the nature, we can detect the what type of ledger balance it will have. So, let us uh, sum up the session. In this session, we have discussed the meaning of ledger balancing, then the procedure of ledger balancing and in the procedure, we have seen how to balance means how to detect from the heavier amount, the ledger amount and the resultant figure is balance CD. So, that is the closing balance and we transfer it to the uh, next day on the opposite side and it is known as opening balance. And we have also discussed that accounts with no balance means there is no, nothing to detect from debit side or credit side or from credit side to debit side. Then there may be some accounts with debit balance means the opening balance, the balance BD will be on the debit side. Then there will be some credit account means credit balance. So those account will source the balance BD, opening balance on the credit side. Then we have also discussed some accounts which generally shows a particular balance like the asset account shows debit balance. We have given the example of machinery. It may be anything, furniture, it may be building, it may be land, etc. Similarly, the liability account will always show credit balance and so on. So, this is all about the session and in this session, we have covered the balancing aspect of ledger. Thank you. Thank you very much.